What's up, guys? Welcome to Political Fight Club. I was uh, going to busy myself listening to Destiny debate Richard Wolf right around now, but Destiny's just fucking around on his uh, live right now playing video games, so I don't know what the hell's going on, um, what the delay is. Um, perhaps it was supposed to be 1 o'clock Pacific time. I don't know. Anyway, um, even so, I'm going to do this video instead. It's another update on uh, police brutality in this country and another shooting yesterday. 16-year-old girl named Micaiah Bryant was killed in Columbus, Ohio. Uh, police officer shot her. The police were called to the house. There was a fight going on, and I saw the body cam footage. I just watched it this morning. And uh, the police officer is there for maybe a grand total of 8 or 10 seconds before they shoot Micaiah. So they approach the driveway where there appears to be a couple of cars and a couple of people standing around and there's clearly a fight going on you know you can tell there's some people jawing and uh, a young lady in pink kind of strolls out towards the camera and then there's a tussle between two other women one of the women is pushed to the ground the woman that pushed the other one to the ground was Micaiah Bryant she then turned and kind of stumbled towards the woman in pink and at that point you can see that she had a knife in her hand and it's within two or three seconds later that uh, the officer, I mean, he draws his, he drew his firearm almost immediately and aimed at her back as soon as he saw the other lady get knocked down and he shot her in the back. She did die. Now, this is a different type of, um, you know, instance than the other ones, the Dante Wrights, the uh, Adam Toledo's of the world that have happened this week as well, or in the last week in that she was armed and she was going after another person and she was shot in the back while doing so. So I'd like to uh, just kind of give you guys my take on this and I think it'll be a little bit unpopular for some people but if you ask me does a police officer have the right to shoot somebody with their handgun if there's a fight and there's a knife involved or if someone's going at another person with a knife and it's a tough call for me, but still, I would say no. And let me add the caveat, you have to try to tase them or stop them in some other way. And he was close enough to tase her. He was within about seven or eight feet of her when he shot her. So he could have tased her, stun gun, or tased her. Um, and then he, uh, he could have theoretically stepped in and done something else to separate them while they were actually fighting for two or three seconds at the beginning of the you know, fight, but he doesn't. He immediately goes right for his gun. Right for his gun. I mean, within five seconds, the lady goes down, and he pulls his gun, aims at her back, tells her to stop, and shoots her in the back. So, here's the problem, guys. I'm. She did have a knife in her hand, and now she's dead. Don't go after anybody with a knife. For the love of God, the police will shoot you. But here's the thing, man. This first, or this whole, like, shoot first approach has to stop. There are other ways that these big old burly police have of de-escalating situations like this. And granted, he only had maybe 10 seconds to decide what to do. But your first instinct cannot be to shoot. Your first instinct should be, in something like this, grab your taser. As soon as you see there's a fight and you're within tasing distance, pull the damn thing out. Don't go for your gun first. Taser first, or mace. Mace wouldn't have worked in this situation. Probably wasn't close enough, and they were, it was, you know, it would have been tough. But you cannot shoot first. I don't believe that just because she had a knife in her hand that she should have, she should be dead. Um, now, you could say, well, he could have, she could have killed the other uh, woman. I don't think that 16-year-old Micaiah Bryant was going to stab someone to death in her driveway in broad daylight with a police officer watching. Um, but, yeah, that's why I think that you guys, some of you guys might disagree with me here. I still think that we should remember that police are still supposed to not kill even guilty people. You can't kill somebody just because they're armed. You can't kill somebody, especially in America, you can't kill somebody just because they have drugs in their pocket. These people still need to be, you know, as best we can, taken into custody, arrested, and then go through the justice system. So I don't think you should get a bullet in the back for something like this. 
but it's touchy, guys. This isn't as, you know, cut and dry as Adam Toledo, who had his hands in the air. It's not as cut and dry as Dante Wright, who was shot by Kim Potter, and then he crashed his car three blocks later. Um, and he had, you know, there's no reason for them to shoot him. So, it's touchy. But I still think that you don't deserve to die via at the hands of police simply because you have a knife in your hand. You know, it's too bad. Um, but, you know, maybe I'm wrong. If you guys can convince me otherwise, leave a comment below. But I still think that police have the obligation to try to de-escalate without resorting to their pistol. And also, just because you've done something that breaks the law, that does not warrant police shooting at you. You know, there are certain things that you can, you still can be taken into custody and it's up to the police to try to de-escalate in those situations. So, um, it's a tough one, guys. I feel like every day I wake up and do one of these shows, but, um, Micaiah Bryant, she was 16 years old of Columbus, Ohio. We'll know more details later. We'll see ya.